Hello YouTube and welcome to our 79th Unity 3D tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to carry on working on our character creation and hopefully get it to somewhere near completion because then we can um, fix a couple of bugs in it, export it so that we can take it between levels and then that's it done because then we've got some really cool tutorials coming up. Stuff like um, cutscenes, flying to space, um, adding new type of aspects, real-time build systems and everything, snow, all the lot, but yeah. So, um, firstly, if you didn't see my previous video, I finally modeled a female. However, the problem was that um, it because you had to because we renamed the hero machine, it didn't like it and messed up. So, as you can see, the head messed up a little bit, but yeah. So, what I've gone and done is resize them to the correct size, which is I know one point zero point one four. These will be in the description as a new hero machine, simply because, er, uh, what was the reason? It takes ages to do, yeah. So, the easiest way to do this is, I haven't deleted the ones that are already there. What we can do is, if we look at the front of it, we can align it with it, so it's pretty much in the centre. Then just delete the things out of here, what we don't need in. And then just do a quick switcheroo, because these are already correct. So I'm going to drag the f male out. As you can see, the size isn't perfect. But that's because the previous ones are automatically sized 2. And I think that was f for the scaling later, so it was in the middle. So I'm just going to size it up to 2, and as you can see, it's the right size now. So I'm going to rotate it to 180 so it's facing us. And there we go. We don't need anything on it, so we can just look at it. And minus 52, 6 and 8. So minus 52, 6 and 8. So that should be in the bounds of it. So now all we're going to do is in the gender mail, delete bit, body, and head. So gone. And then simply put the bit, body, and head from this into there. Yes, don't worry about losing the prefab and delete figure mail. So that's him done. So um, at the moment, I'm just going to put his arms down because I don't want his arms up. So we'll find his arms, which is in the spine, the neck, and then we'll find the shoulders. And I'm just going to click local so it's like easier to rotate. I'm just going to rotate it down. And I'll do the same for the other one. To about there. And close some of this so if we open up again it won't be mad. So there's our one male one done. So that looks okay. And now for the female one. If you haven't seen it yet, it looks identical to the male one just with female parts yeah so as you can see he has no arms but that's because he's in a wall drag him out that's what we didn't check is it on top of the male yep luckily that's on top of that one we didn't check whether we're in bounds of it or not but spoke no we moved it didn't we so we're okay so as you can see this is our female they she has um them parts and a female face and just to zoom into the eyes so you can see how horrific that looks but yeah so quite a butch female but it's still a female nevertheless I should have made a big bum it would have been hilarious but no so we've got our female it could be better but hey YouTube's still awesome um, so yeah so we're gonna model that put that one where we want it God knows why it's called gender female but yeah so minus 46 and 3, minus 46 and 3. And it's gone all the way over there, is that right? I guess so. So quick switcheroo again, delete, add all these, boom. If when you ex import these, they are pink or whatever, just use the materials like we did a few tutorials ago and you'll fix it. All the materials have been provided. You've got a few more skins for female and male. Um, I'll probably include some more, but yeah. So there we go, female viewers. You've now got a female body. Obviously, it's not the best one, but hey. So let's go down and put her arms down. So down you go. And down you go. So there we go. Let's try it. So click, click. Which one do we want? Let's maximize it first so we can see. We just need to test everything. So that works fine. We need to make a treadmill still. Next, select your size. 
Hmm. That'll do. So your armor. We do need to set the scale to the same, but that can be done soon. So none of the skins have been assigned, so we'll need to assign them. And set your name, finish, and then there's our character. So we can make him do something. So turn the lights off, which is that little gizmo there. And let's find how to assign what we need. So I believe it was on the main camera. Size select has nothing. Armor select. There we go. So head armor has got what it needs. Body skins. So we're missing all five body skins. Great. So let's assign these. So we'll just assign the female one into it anyway. So female, male. Fits it. Mail two. Farmer mail. Um, I lost it. There we go. Original because I know people would want the original. And then we'll put six in. And we'll assign the surgeon. There's the body skins. Face skins have also gone. Great. So, female. Where's our face skin? I'm just going to speed this part up because this is going to take a while, so I'll see you in a minute. So I'm back and I've done that so we're going to test it one more time just to see if everything's working we'll be the female this time default and skins that works fine and of course we've got the original but yeah so you can have running around as a naked person yeah why not and as you can see though the models don't transfer so that's what we're going to do now and also we might brighten it up because the, um, the spotlight idea is good but you can hardly see what you're looking at so we might need to buff up the spotlight so we're going to find our armor script here and what we're going to do is make it add to oh this is small so where are we on the next panel here so when we click next so you don't change it what we're going to do is actually add the armor to it, but then destroy anything what's inside of it. So if we just play it again, not on maximize, we'll have a look what they've still got in the bodies when we go across to the armor. So select some armor, blah, 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 blah. As you can see, it's not spawning into her. It's the All the colors will spawn with her, but not the spawn back or the head. So what all we need to do is just move them into the character that's all and what we're going to do in the characters destroy the body spawn back spawn and stuff like that so if we just keep it playing while we edit it um, some people say this isn't the best idea but we need to see it so in the next when you click next before you click next what we need to make it do is destroy and get rid of, fix clean it up basically so we're going to start type destroy game object dot find we'll do body spawn and that should be it. So we can. What else we got? Body spawn, head spawn, leg spawn, and don't forget back spawn. So that'll destroy all the objects what we don't need. Great. So now what we do need to do, do though, is move the parent of the spawn back. So game object dot find spawn back dot transform dot parent this is how you edit the parent if you want just a little tip here if you want to set the parent of something to n so it's not got a parent um say i were doing body spawn i do game object dot find body spawn dot transform dot parent equals null n u l l that means nothing so it'll just mean it's nothing it's just default game so but in this case our transform dot parent will be game object dot find character dot transform because you're transforming it I'll just turn word wrap off because that's kind of annoying and we'll do the same for head spawned head so if we play and get off 
Does it throw us any errors? Oh, it's loading. There we go. So we'll just click female and click next. It'll destroy it. So let's see. We've got our head spawn and everything. So we'll choose some armor. Uh, yep. Yeah. And we'll click next. And as you can see, the spawn back and thing are there now. But also the things have gone. So there's our character. Pretty much. Simple as that. All what's left to do would be to add our spawn point, which we can do on the level start. So quickly before we end the tutorial, we're just going to beef up the spotlights. Simply because. To make it look better, really. What's that one look like? Hmm. Let's have a test. Well, we can definitely see it better. Um, yeah, so we'll just use that one for now. So, what range is it? So, we'll say 26 by 51. And then we'll select this guy's spotlight. Uh, 26 by 51. So, let's try switch between them. Perfect. What we can eventually do is, like, when we're working on the head, we it'll zoom into the head. Or we'll like create little magnifiers, because that'll be really easy to do while we just move the camera. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. Any improvements for it, post below. I'm always grateful to improve my tutorials. Facebook and stuff below as well. And see you next time.